Hey everybody, Shay here. Welcome back to another blind run of Honkai Star Rail, of course. I've been doing some rounds between uh, the... It's been about a week since I played the last episode for with all of you. Um, I've been doing some rounds here between these two stations, of course, <laughs> just to get some of this uh, burned away. So you can see it's like not quite perfect yet. I'm going to be doing a story round today because uh, I do feel like in the, I'm in the mood to push things uh, along. But while I'm giving updates and just talking things through, I do want to just run through some of these uh, because I can talk about something that's about to happen. So we're getting double for this. I'm running this loadout right now. I really like Serval quite a bit. Uh, but what I've been doing, of course, um, it shouldn't be a surprise. As soon as I figured out, found out I could do this, of course I'm gonna autoplay. So what I end up doing is I end up running an autoplay just to burn away these resources while I'm basically grinding Genshin Impact. Because <laughs> it takes me longer to move around and do the uh, zones. Um, so, that said, while I'm watching them do this autoplay, I mean, there's some logic behind it, and I can see the way that the logic tree works just by watching this long enough, and it's pretty inefficient. Like, it's not really, like, I might do some bad play options here and there, and, uh, I don't know, it's maybe just, like, my play style sometimes, like, if I see an ultimate ready to go, I don't just use it. I know, I know that it's like the more you use it, the more you can maximize the output of the damage that it can create. So when I watch the AI do it, I, it's not... How's the audio, by the way? I feel like it's a little bit loud. As I'm not shocked that it is, but I'm happy I can figure this out now while I'm playing with all of you. Anyways, uh, but when I'm watching this game play things out, it really does throw me off because it's doing things that... What the hell? It's at two? <laughs> this is insane. I think it's the voices, man. Anyways, let's reduce all of this down. Or it's at least the voice. I think it's when, when it's the voices when they're speaking out. They're saying stuff. Uh, this tends to, tends to go nuts. Now, if I go to one, like that's just too low. That's insane. I want to hear the music, you know. Anyways, let's let's keep going with this. Continue battle while I ramble about this AI. And so what happens is, as soon as the ultimate's ready for the AI, the AI will use it. But I've noticed that it'll select like odd opponents to do it with, and sometimes you're like, why don't you just trigger that right now? Like, the, the, the thing is almost dead. Uh, you could have aimed for the other ones that had that had more hit points. Like, there's just a lot, a lot of like that, the lot that the kind of logical thinking, strategic thinking that goes on, is uh, not. I guess it doesn't coincide with the logical AI. So logic doesn't coincide with strategy. Is I think what I'm getting at. Not that I can always do strategy perfect, because I gotta learn as I go, you know? But there's just certain things you pick up with strategic gameplay, such as like card games and things like that, that sometimes holding back is the better decision, because you can maximize the output when the field gives you a better opportunity to, uh, to be compromised by the thing you're outputting on the field, right? And sometimes that compromise is not... It's not significant enough to warrant an ultimate un unloading of an alternate sweep, and it's like sometimes it's just an overkill. And it's like, of course you guys are getting wrecked right now. You you wasted your ultimates, you know. Anyways, and I like the fact that it's like, good. I just <laughs> just run another round here while I do something else. In any case, like watch, you're you're gonna see. Uh, uh, here he goes. That like oh. ultimate start up thing right away. As soon as it's activated, bam, it's automatic because it's an interrupter, right? So it goes whenever it wants. And boom, here it comes ultimate. Boom, done. It's ready. Boom, done. It's on the field. And it's, uh, it's not that it's a bad idea, I'm just saying that sometimes it feels like um, it's not the right call. Uh, but in any case, if I were to solo play this, it takes longer though, because I'm thinking how to do it a better way. But here's what I learned in the long metal list, and that's why I'm using this as an intro. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Because the reality here is I can let all this happen, and like you doing the setup and, and leveling them up to get all these powers, if you were to play like this, you do exactly what the AI is doing right now. Now, does that take the fun away of playing? Sure, but if it does and you feel that way, just turn off the auto and just do it yourself, you know? But if you're kind of, if your pattern is to use an ultimate as soon as it's ready, then it's no different than auto playing, the game auto playing itself. So I'm not sure I see a fail here because, especially as a daily grinder, so as, as an experience, as part of the experience, it feels like, no, it's still too loud, man. This is out of control. Like, like I, I've never seen games be this bad at doing sound level management. Like, from a production standpoint, I've never had this kind of... I've had problems in the past. But this, these games in particular, I can't make sense of it, man. I don't know. Like, look at these settings. This is insane. Anyways, 
Let's keep going. Do this test now, because I'm going to story mode, and I don't want to be having these complications while I'm in story mode. All right, now it's looking better. It's not. It's not going into like the danger zone. It's just tapping the danger zone. <laughs> Still with the SFX, I think now. Maybe. Anyways, so what was I saying? Boom! Ultimate. Bam. Before. Bam. <laughs> ah. Okay. So the point is like when it's in the experience. Like I. W I don't know if I'd want to do this during like the gameplay where I want part of that this experience to be part of the gameplay but as a grinder like it because this game encourages you to come in daily and get and, and waste the fuel you know what I mean because that's what's going to get you the levels and you need the levels to unlock certain parts of the game which is story their story gates to some degree or a degree or, or adventure gates you know and so I want to push those along um but I love the fact that I could do this because it just lets me unlock those gates because it's not so much that I'm having a game experience that gets me to unlock those gates it's just time it's just time. it's like real world time because you have to do these things exhaust this fuel so that you can level up to unlock the things you actually want to experience if you're a story gamer i want the story i want the lore i want to see the character development right so this doesn't matter to me that much is what i've discovered it's not making the game worse at all it's almost making it better because of the because of the type of experience it's giving me anyways that's kind of my my little ramble up front while the auto plays on and uh and so yeah today Today I want to run through that new city we've unlocked, and um, I'm going to see if I can put in a good solid run of Pure Story and see how much of the last week I've been maybe on daily. I signed into this one for seven days, six or seven days. I forget when the last time I recorded for all of you was, but I've done nothing else in the game. I've just been floating between these two sections here, these two nodes, um, and uh, wasting as much fuel as possible. Well, take a look at the pulls. I'll see if I'll pull it. I'll do a ten pull or something like that, just because. Um, maybe we'll save that for the end of the episode or the beginning. I, I never know. I, I feel like if I do it at the end, um, I don't get distracted by if I pull a new character. I want to start digging into the new character, and then that will be the whole episode, <laughs> you know? Whereas if I put it at the end, it just extends the episode, but it also... I'm not sure where, where it makes sense to put this in, to be honest. All of this sort of blends together, and I can do the best I can with this. I think what I'm going to do after... Again, little vlog at the beginning here for the first 10 minutes, I suppose. But I think what I'm going to do with these series... It's like, the further I get in, I might then retroactively go back to the first episodes that I put out there, and I'll I'll collapse all of the story bits to just be the story run of it, and then I'll have that experience out for folks, you know? That kind of thing. So that people who just want the story experience, they're going to get that a little bit more seamless. But people who want the blind experience from someone, like, experience the blind experience, <laughs> experience the game through the blind experience of someone else, then, I mean, that's what this is for. Um... I can at least uh, share that with you, like me discovering things along the way, especially from a lore perspective. Anyways, that's it. Uh, that's all I wanted to do. Um, and then from here, uh, we can just teleport up here one more space ahead so I can heal up. Um, call me crazy, but I think I actually don't know. Oh, yeah. See, there's things I could totally forgot about. Um, I could be doing those runs for these things. I don't need them, though, I suppose. Right? Because this is just going to get you the ease, but you don't need them. That's what I'm saying. It is free stuff, though. No? I don't think so. This is just literally for energy. Monsters down there if I want to fight them, but who cares? Some energy things there if I need them. And then is there a boss up here? I actually haven't checked. Can I keep fighting this boss up here? We'll find out. Serval, absolutely primary right now. Really enjoy that guitar thing. I'm not sure why I'm so amused by it, but I really am. I really enjoy it. Like this right here. Oh, this thing. Oh. Damn it. Go! You gotta go! Go! Oh, damn it, man. I think, like, you, you need to catch those things. They run away and then they're gone. Oh, damn it. I forgot who had the ranged attack. <laughs> Shit. Oh, hey, guys. What's up? <laughs> What's up? All right, Fighting so... Okay, now, see, like, now I'm in slow mode, and I feel like, I feel like it's almost inappropriate, you know? <laughs> slow down the game this much, but um, I think it's fine. Single, blam. Um, single for defense. Let's go for her. But see, like I could just auto this, and wouldn't it be faster for all of you to just enjoy it as an auto game or no? Like if you're after the story, then it's sort of like it. It would make sense for this to be auto because it just moves the story along, you know? Uh, yeah, sure. See what I mean? Like I'm taking too long to pick ultimate, although that's the smart thing to do. Bam. Not that smart, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I probably wrecked this guy, and I did. And then, uh, single target. Bam! Uh, no, let's single target. Bam! 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 This is our chance. 
<laughs> Bam! Okay. Oh, round three, sorry. Oh, yeah. We got this thing. I got the focus. I'm sorry, little bro, but uh, you gotta go. You gotta go. Single target. I think you only have a certain amount of rounds. I forget where I saw that tripping away, but I need to get this. I hope that this does enough damage. It doesn't. I can't do enough damage to this thing. Should I auto this thing? Will the auto know better? <laughs> I'm not sure it will. Okay. There we go. Watch this awesome move. Can I freeze it at least? Yeah. Yes! Okay, perfect. And then we'll do one of these. Hmm. No, oh, maybe, maybe. No I might get it. Uh, single target. Let's go for it, man. Let's go. Ooh. No. Get him. Get him. Get him. I don't know what this gives me, but I want it. I want to see what happens. Bam. Ooh. Oh, I almost had the ultimate there. Uh, another blast, maybe. Hope it just does enough damage. Bam! Got him! Walk into trap something rather. Okay. Okay, good, cool. Booyah. That's fun doing it. Autoplay. I mean autoplay is fine, I guess. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Alright, let's play you. So you just have to see it. And if you have a fight in the vicinity that it digs itself into a hole. It joins the fight. Is that what happened? That way I don't have to chase it like I did. I really panicked there. I thought I was going to lose another opportunity. Well, let's take some of these. Now, wasn't there a boss here, though? That's what I was actually checking to see if I always had a shot at the boss. But I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, so here we go. The purpose of this session. Oh, and I have to do um, a bit of cleanup here with... There's so much crap here. Here, I've got... I tend to come in here. I saved all of this so I could experience with all of you, except for the email stuff because i would just get a lot of them the the what's it called the hoyo the hoyo or stuff you know this jesus god what the hell is it called the hoyo lab the hoyo lab stuff is what i'll get uh thank you for this i got it and then this one but i tend to clean them all okay so there we go five thousand credits let's back out of this good now let me check to uh, messages so i had a message in here from pom pom i feel you haven't been back to the expresses forever kalis didn't we just see each other? It's true though. I mean, well, I mean, not in real world time. Don't worry about the details. <laughs> Come back when you've got time. Pom Pom has some things for you. Yay, he does? Okay, the conductor of rewards. Okay. Oh, <laughs> look at this then. Ooh, lordy. Let's make some pulls. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Navigate? Does this take me back to the conductor? Yes? Maybe? I love this so much. Does it? Can I just teleport there? How do I teleport there? Do I teleport there? Navigate? Stop navigation. Teleport. Hey, oh! <laughs> Let's take a break. Let's get some free poles, baby. Woo! Was this the upgrade or something? Did something happen to give us this? Maybe something like that was going on. I'm, I, I'm, I'm all tripped up because of the way I've been signing in and grinding both the games. Tickets, please. Oh, Kalis, you're not the same person Pom Pom first met. What's happened to you? What? No, literally, like, literally I've only done a couple winter missions, man. Uh, winter landscape missions. I had a really fast growth spurt. What? The only thing that's changed your opinion of me. What? Is he so he's joking or uh, your opinion of me? I guess. I don't know. This one? Sure. Opinion of me? Conductor's eyes never lie, Kalis. You are not the same person that you were. The same thing happened to March 7th. When she first went out trailblazing, how can Pom Pom put this? It feels like you're more mature, more stable. I literally just started the game, bro. More reliable, Pom Pom is sure of it. Nah, man, this music is too good for it to be this low. Can I call music while I'm in this thing? No, I can't. Okay, we'll do it later. Love, Pom Pom, got some small rewards for your growth. Skip the formalities, take it all. Oh, this is probably the AP levels we're going up. That's what happened. Pom Pom will keep an eye on your progress and keep preparing small rewards for you. As far uh, as for what those will be, you'll soon find out. You'll find out soon enough. I mean, something like that. Conductor, minimally okay. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Um, hmm, I hate doing this with all of you. I wish this was right the first time, but I, you're all experiencing it with me, and it does feel odd. It has to feel odd to you, too. <laughs> Let's try that. Get the music a little louder. Okay, next. We got... Um, Sure, tutorials feels like something we could just get out of the way. The Lost Trotter. During battle, 
Travers might accidentally enter the battle as a result of being lost. Oh, and then you take it out of its misery? Like, defeat the Trotter before they run away to obtain bonus rewards dropped from other enemies. Okay, that's what it was. Good. Uh, cast, I think I got everything else that doesn't matter. That clears that. We have the Interstellar Guide. This might be a... No, this, okay. Open 20 treasures. Done. Some more of that. Perfect. Five. What are we missing here? Purchase one item in the world shop of here. Okay, we'll get there. Here. 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 Hertarium. Hertarium. Um, no, no, not go. We'll get there soon enough. Let's go back to messages. We got another pom pom message. Kalis, someone's learning fast. I'm just average. I'm still just average. I rank maybe third on the express. Confidence is a good thing. It's easy to feel lost when you're. When you're belly, belly, traveling alone, barely, belly, belly traveling alone on a journey of growth, sometimes it's wise to reach out and ask outstanding seniors for advice. Their lights are like lighthouses on the night ocean and are very hard to replace. Ah, typo, typo. It's you've been, not your belly. Oh, man, nice, man. Hurry and come back to the express when you can. It's easier to face to face. God, I just I was just standing right in front of you, pom pom. Don't forget about home. So we got. This thing, I guess things are just kicking off here. Return to the express and talk to Pom Pom Pom. Pom is a big boop boop boop. Okay, I uh, talked to it. There's a lot of distractions here. Let's go to the achieved real quick and clean this up. We have Day, Day of the Triffids. Defeat Calyx a hundred times. There you go. You get a bit of a picture of what I've been up to for a week. And then we got this one. Defeat 20 enemies with windbreak damage. Thank you, autoplay. <laughs> Defeat 60 enemies with wind break damage. Thank you, out of play. And inflict ice weakness break 100 times. All right, so we got this out of the way as well. Um, no, we got more. We got fathom the tertiary power. Use technique 50 times. And we have walk into the trap. Capture lost trotters one time in battle. Perfect. Oh, that's the thing that popped up. Right. Okay, and that should do it here. Um, there's probably stuff I gotta clean up elsewhere, but let's just check this real quick. Notices. We got the 1.4 coming out. After attaining corresponding trailblaze levels and completing the prerequisite missions, the companion missions will be unlocked. I don't want to read that in case it's gonna, you know what I mean? <laughs> Spoil me. So, and then we got stagnant shadows. Just so you know where I'm at in the gameplay, I like to load that up just so that, yeah, you have a point of reference in time. For when I'm uh, when I get these out, there's usually a couple days or a week or so before I get out. Sometimes you know, a couple weeks depending on if I'm, how my week goes at work and, and stuff like that. And in the middle of transitionary transitioning part of my life. Um, so next, I have to fix character stuff. I want to avoid that right now. Let's do travel log check in real quick. Um, things probably aren't perfect, but that's all right. I've got a lot of comments along the way. I've got some notes, but I will uh, I'll eventually get to stuff. But game's not breaking yet so i'm not really feeling it um we got this one fushuan i've been um i can i didn't did i do the trials with all of you i forget no i don't remember i think i might have done those solo i can move that forward um that'll happen on its own yeah yeah okay right and we get the golden ones uh for fushuan or for one of these characters so let me view the details real quick um did any of them stick out to me uh hook because fire, and I love fire, and I will always go for a fire character. I love them. I love them. I always love them. So, I do have a chance to get the fire character. I can't go wrong there. Fushuan looks cool. But right now, that's the only one that really draws me. I think she's got a chaotic uh, play style as well on the field. That was pretty amusing. Um, we got 10 of those. We got ten, If we can pull 10 of these. Hmm. All right. Maybe. We'll do that as well, right? We'll do it up front. Because, I mean, we're returning back. It's a bit of a break episode, maybe. So I intend to go into the story. This might be split into two, two, two episodes. Let's just do some cleanup here. And then we'll split this up and go into story mode soon enough. So we've got Baronia, Himiko, and Gephard. I like all of them, to be honest. I mean, I like Himiko just because Himiko. <laughs> Baronia, I think it'd be fun to have Baronia. And then Gephard, I enjoyed him. He's the least, I mean, I know less about him, but... He, he felt cool in the trial. He felt cool enough. After warps are on sale is what they are. So let's do let's do these ones. 20% off. Let's go. Let's try to get something cool, baby. Come on. Get distracted. <laughs> I'm not the story that I intended. I will be playing the story today. It's already very late today. I've played 10 hours of Genshin Impact today already. I can't help it. I need to do. I need to push these forward. I've been thinking about them. It's a long weekend here in Canada for Thanksgiving, and so 
I need to get something out to all of you, man. It's been a few days, and I'm going to be distracted for the next few. So, here we go. Let's go. Passkey. Another passkey. Shattered home. Adversarial. We got a light cone. Ooh. Look at the arm, dude. Resolution shines as pearls of sweat. Okay. Loop. Void. A uh, defense. <gasps> Booyah! Oh my god, it's Clara! <laughs> It's the only one I really loved out of the trials. Oh my god, I was, I was so in love with this character. I love it. I love the defense strategy. I love the way it looks and everything. Oh, five star two. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who would have thought? Let's come back to this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Claire's in the game. Okay. It took me a while to register. I was looking at him like, oh, a, a kid character with a robot. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. I like. I like. Well, uh, now... Now, now, what do I do now? I mean, you have to come. You, you're part of this this group. You have to be part of this group. Detail, I've already lost everything. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Anyway. <laughs> so, my brain just melted. Right. Okay, close this off. Okay. Okay, so departure's now gone. That's okay. It makes it clean. Because now I just hit the stellar warp. And I've got ten. I got ten. Six tickets. Got six tickets. I'll work on it. But I got ten of these right now. I feel already overwhelmed. <laughs> I got a character I really wanted. I knew nothing about, but I really wanted. And this one is because the fire, I think, is fun. Uh, Fushuan, I mean, God, there's no way I'm gonna get another one. Let's do it, let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go. If I get two, now this is gonna be, this would be crazy. This would be crazy. There's no way. There's no way the game is gonna pull off a stunt like that. Let's go. Pom -pom. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I got Himiko, my favorite. Oh, okay, my third character. Ah, oh, what is it, name? Oh, oh. <laughs> this day is great. Amber, data bank, void, collapsing sky, multiplication. Oh, I got a server upgrade. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> from my favorite character on the field right now. This is gold, man. Ooh, what a drive. Oh, look, this, this is great. This is great. So we still have eight. I feel like I can get... Oh, I can buy them, right? Let's buy four more. Fuck it. Let's do that right now. <laughs> Where's the store? Exchange. I'm going to do it. Uh, let's go. Exchange. I just got... Uh, I know you guys helped me, but it's been a week now, and my notes are, are over there, and I'm lazy. Hold on. Let me just see if I can figure it out by, <laughs> by working this out. Amber's exchange. What's the difference here? I got a deal there... Oh god, if people explain this. Hold on, is it cheaper? Wait, what? Oh, it's different objects. Okay, okay, hold on. We have Undying Starlight for warp, and then we have the Undying Embers. R right. My eyes literally couldn't see if that was three, uh, four or five stars. Right there. My brain actually like, got, got, got. Okay, these are the good ones. Um, so I got to go to the Ember Exchange and get the five out of five. Yeah, these are the ones you have to get... No, 23 days. You have to burn these away as much as... Right, you have to buy these. Because there's no point not to buy these. You could just buy all max. Oh, God. Hold on. Hold on. Back up. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Getting out of myself. Getting out of myself again. I need star rail passes. Star rail passes. Not sp special pass. I just need the normal star rail pass, please. Store. Embers exchange. The star rail pass. And I need... Four of them, but I might as well buy all of them. It doesn't matter, I guess, right? I mean, it doesn't matter. Star Rail Pass. <laughs> Not special. Star Rail Pass. I just said it all out. Star Rail Pass, damn it. All right, that's the deal. And then we got these ones. I can get more. That's crazy. I can get two more. I don't need two more. I have enough to pull a 10 right now. Booyah! Oh, no, that's right. I just said that. It didn't matter. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. We got, um, I don't want to do that. I want to do this one. Let's go. Let's go. Cross your fingers. Let's go. Come on, three for three. Who who would I even... Yeah, uh, the firewood. I mean, I want it, but I don't need it. Um, who, who else would I want one? I mean, Baronia would be cool. Who else? That I know. I don't know many characters. That's the thing. That's my problem. I'm, I'm rolling with it. So let's see. Oh, the, the other... The, the Himiko dude. <laughs> with the punching arm. I don't know. So I'm in a trailer. I thought he was cool. He, had a, he felt like a Himiko to me, though. But I'll take him. It's a fire dude. I'll take fire characters. Wait, he's not fire though. 
Is he, is he, is he fire? I saw a trailer of him. Now, I, I, I'll find out. Mutual demise. Arrows. Pioneering. Pioneering. S Saga City. Saga, Saga City or Saga City? I don't know. Saga City. Meshing Cogs. Okay, cool. Boom. Now we got a four star. What a friggin' yield, man. And I can still buy more. But I'm not going to. I think I'm good. I got a lot of these, though. I mean, I could. But I'm, uh, let me just go back in the store just real quick. quick. I just want to check something. I just want to check something. Special rail pass. Um, uh, sorry, embers. Uh, if I burn these away. Wait, hold on. My brain, my brain. Yeah, yeah. Right deal. These are... Uh, what, what are these? What are these down here, though? Okay, level 30. It's probably for upgrade stuff. You know, I don't need to think about that right now. Uh, that's gone. Um, right? I might as well burn these away. And... Yeah, done. Okay, so we can get one more of these when we get the pieces for that. And then for this, I I guess I don't want to just waste these because I can just... I can literally get the characters if I just hold all... Arlen? Arlen would be cool. Wait, Arlen? I don't have Arlen. I guess I don't have Asta. That's weird that you could buy her. I guess you get that you get the the level up though, right? But Arlen has a new character. Is he maybe he's unlockable normally. Like in some plot thing. I have to recheck. Um, okay. Woo! That was fun. Um then there's this stuff. What can I do with his? Nothing. I don't have this stuff. Then we got Oneric Pouch. Well, that's the actual pay, the buy. And we got Stellar Trade does what? Okay, and then this is straight up the, these, what are these things called here again? <laughs> stellar Jades. Stellar Jades. We'll buy more passes. So it's possible. We can do another 10 fault, folks. I mean, what else are you, do we use Stellar Jade for? Hmm. Let me double check here. How do I, how do I check uh, recommended? Uh, no. How do I, Stellar Jade. What is Stellar Jade used for? Only for buying passes? There's no way. It's gotta be something else. Is that stellar trade? Nah, man, there's gotta be something else. What do you do with this? Like, are these on, these are on rotation, it looks like. There's 23 days left on these two. They get swapped out to new characters. Now, Arlen would be cool to get, but I could probably pull him randomly. And I mean, I think he'd be a cool character because I met him in the early game. That's the only reason I would want an Arlen. I just think that he'd make story sense to have around, but I don't need him because I don't know enough. don't know enough. Now, in terms of these i probably want this to swap out and maybe i will when i watch all the character trailers for this game then i'll start to have a list of characters i maybe seek out and i wait for to pay them pay for them and there that leaves me these which will come naturally and i will be able to burn them away on the limited pull the limited exchanges here and then that takes us to the the, the jades and spending the jades to close the gap here and i'm not sure what else I could spend dates on. Where I was it was it the normal it was the normal ones? Four. So I have six. I need six more special passes. And I would go for this pull right here. If I want a Fushuan or if I want to pull a hook. Otherwise I can hold. If I'm not like convinced of the pull, I can hold. There's no reason I gotta pull for these characters. Cause like I, I wasn't really feeling Pella. Maybe there's something there, but I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. Lynx was okay, but I also wasn't feeling it. So I might just not have reached my stride with them. Um, and again, I'm also working on concept here, right? If I watch the character trailers again, maybe I learned something that makes me compelled to want them on the team and learn more about them, that kind of thing. But otherwise I have a very, very uh, distinct short list of uh, subjective, uh, completely uninformed decisions of what uh, characters I want and uh, I'm okay with that uh, characters here we have wealth in here I feel like that would come by plot I don't know why it wouldn't I wasn't really feeling her I'm gonna hold okay I, I've convinced myself to hold I don't know how I pull that off but I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna wait um, we'll wait for the next round maybe the next one's it's tomorrow I think it's like it's literally tomorrow like if I come back tomorrow night I can check this out <sighs> here we go we have serval you get to level up no Eidolon you get the Eidolon level up here. Encore. Every time Serval Talent is triggered to deal additional damage, she regenerates four energy. That's kind of neat. Activate, please. Boom. All right. I like. And then we have next character. We're going to go down this rabbit hole, I think. Details. 
Hell to the yes. Okay. Okay. Technique. After using technique, creates a dimension that lasts for 15 seconds. After entering battle with enemies in the, the dimension, there's a 100% base chance to increase fire damage taken by enemies by 10% for two turns. I love fire characters so much. <laughs> this, this, this is why I have a, a bias for Himakos. Okay, so what do I do here? Base attack. I've already played her in the trial mode, so I generally get a sense of what to do with her. AoE talent. Inflicted with weakness break. Himako gains one point of charge. That's right, she gets his points at the bottom. One follow-up attack and deals fire damage equals 70% of her attack to all enemies consuming all, all charge points uh -huh. at the start of battle hit goal gains one point okay she gets that repost thing kicked off i like it okay uh let's level her up absolutely let's get um auto add got so many of these folks wait wait wait, wait. calm down calm down hold on can i reduce it to there we go get her to 19 blammo and then we can what am I going to put on here? Oh my god, I'm going to get down the rabbit hole. Well, if I just find something, hopefully I'll find something fast that's for that's for fire. We got these three. Did I read these ones? A drop of strength condensed from time itself. Yes. What is this one? Lycone? Uh, Lycone ability for epiphany. Yes. Regenerates energy. Hmm. Cannot be repeated triggered okay that's gone Let's check this one increases the wearer's ultimate damage by 28 percent that's not a bad one it's a three star mm, do, do, do. human extinction is inevitable but the library will live on lonely and mobile and hidden from the public its vast collection is useless yet pure corruption do i have anyone with that i don't increases the wearer's ultimate damage i mean it's okay it's okay um oh right uh in matter erudition yeah okay Oops. Go back. Erudition. This symbol. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so maybe this one, and then all the rest are not erudition. So, I'm going to say this one. I think this energy one. And this one was what again? When the wearer uses their ultimate attack, increased attack by 24% for two turns. Okay, that, that all of a sudden, because <laughs> I was like complaining about the AI using ultimates, right? As soon as it's available, I was like, okay... When you do that, though, you're increasing the attack by 24%, like by a quarter, for the next two turns as well. That sort of stacks. Even if it's even if it's not the perfect time to use it, it becomes a good time to use it because because you're going to be getting some extra damage downwind. So I'm going to downstream. Uh, let's go with this is even more effective for her because she has a repost attack after, so she might be doing more attacks than her than just one other attack once per round Ooh, interesting after where user skill additionally regenerates eight energy now energy coming back faster could also be cool if i can have um hmm. i'm gonna go with ultimate i think maybe i'll go with this she'll be the power hitter for now and we'll swap it out if it makes sense to do so later on but we're gonna let, let's put this on her um okay and then let's go with uh i think we're good for now i think i can enhance and do all that nonsense but i need to get the characters i need to i need to think through this this is what i'm saying it's been a while um and now that i've done it to genshin i kind of get what the system's doing the meta is doing and how you have to enhance and level things up but uh, it makes me want to like i need to number crunch a little bit like concept crunch a little bit before i make a mistake that kind of thing um you can't really make a mistake if you know what i'm saying i would rather do it right the first time information you probably can't, but I would like to. <laughs> the one who repaired the Astral Express to witness the vast starry sky, she decided to travel with the Astral Express. Her hobby is brewing handmade coffee. An adventurous scientist who encountered the Astral Express as a young woman when it got stranded in her home world. Years later, when Himiko finally repaired the Express and began her journey to the stars, she realized that this is only the beginning. On her journey to trailblaze new worlds, she would need more, many more companions and while they may have different destinations they all gaze at the same starry sky beautiful beautiful let's let's Welcome check this aboard. out now i'm himiko navigator of the astral cool. express 
I'm sure we're about to embark on a fascinating journey together. Beautiful. Hey there. Beautiful. Tired? How about a coffee? I just had one, but I'll take another. Relax. Pom Pom and I are here to take care of the train. She's the so Express kind. and I are like <laughs> old friends. We've helped calm, each other a lot. Generous. I fixed it so that it could get back to its original route. And in return, it takes me to unknown frontiers. I like the language they use because it's a train, frontiers, it's like exploration, it's trailblazing, it feels like a wild west, but you know it's a wet, it's space, it's, it's off. Space western vibe around the, the wrapper around this is so good. As far as malfunctions me of the on old the train are concerned, stuff. I've usually dealt with them before you guys even realize anything's amiss. Mm -hmm. I'm speculating, but I think the Express departs from Akivili's home world and returns there before starting the journey anew. So the Express doesn't have a final stop, per se. Mm. It's up to you it's where you disembark. I have a knack for blending different coffee beans. Can I make you a cup? I recommend not adding milk. Black coffee is proper Hell coffee. Hell yeah. <laughs> Seems like only Don Hung has a kind word for my coffee. More. What do you think? Well, I've always thought that bitter is better. Is this a comment on her character? <laughs> when people live together, it's just it a different way of getting to the concept. Nobody ever changes. <laughs> Only when they're away from each other for a long time bitter, do guess. surprising transformations occur. She's cool in Hawkeye back there. I love her. <laughs> when we scour the universe for the things we seek, most of the time it's less of a Eureka, I found it moment and more of a Is this it? What if I'm wrong moment? Don Hung Oops. is the cautious type. One. I think he's gotten used to doing things by himself. He doesn't like to bother or inconvenience others. That's why I asked him to be the train's guard and maintain the data bank. I don't think he'd have joined us if there wasn't anything for him to do. If I woke up on the express mm. without any memories, there's no mm. way I'd recover as quickly as Marge has. I admire her for that, but I also worry about her. If I'm ever too busy, Please do take the time to chat with her. Look at that. I think Weld's anxious that he can't keep up with you youngsters. Hmm. But he sure seems young at heart to me. To Pom Pom, I'll always be the train's mechanic. <laughs> He's not so uptight <sighs> nowadays. I think you and March helped him understand that relying on others sometimes really isn't a big deal. Hmm. Oops. There's more. Excuse me? I have something for you. Be careful. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Time for a detailed overhaul. It won't nice. be so easy next time. One at a time! Detailed overhaul. Come one, come all. Barely felt it! You've got a lot of nerve! Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. Ooh, I like this line. And I'm no exception. Nice. You won't get away. I was just getting started. Damn. Did you miss me? Much yes. Obliged. Burn away. One step closer to the stars. Mm. This is also the reward of trailblazing. Sometimes you gotta do things yourself. Practice target. <sighs> Fancy a coffee? Yay. I'm going to get another one, for real, though. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to have to make another squad. <laughs> you got to come in. Clara, you got to come in. A vagrant girl who lives with robots. She is introverted, gentle, and has a pure heart. She wishes for all underworlders to become a family. So cute. As a young girl raised by a robot, oh, a young girl raised by a robot, her perceptiveness and tenacity are far beyond her years. For Clara, Svarog, logical calculations are the laws of the world and are infallible that is until she realizes that the results from the calculations don't always necessarily bring joy to everyone the one shy gir little girl then decides to cast aside her timidness that's so cool man uh what was it what the hell did i do <laughs> voice hello i'm clara want to be in my family oh my God, like mr sparrock as oh. long as i'm here he is your family. Oh, by force of need. Well, let's keep up the good work today. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> Time for a nap good. on Mr. Sparrow's arm. Aww. Are you coming? 
Oh my God. Memories are important. Even Mr. Sparrow's calculations need to take them into account. Oh my God. I won't forget about Memories? you. Oh. One time, when I was playing house, playing house, I asked Perkins to get the door, and someone actually came to visit. There are okay. lots of interesting things stored in Mr. Sparrow's memory bank. Like... Movies. Oh my gosh, okay. It's like watching lots of people playing house together. It's hard to get oh, Mr. Acting. Sparrow maybe. to act out a movie with me. Yeah, he maybe. only wants to play trees or rocks. What? <laughs> what? I wanted him to be the dad. Oh my god. My robot friends can be rude sometimes. <laughs> god damn. But deep down, they're kind and honest. Maybe the program to be honest, I guess. I don't know. Logical. When Mr. Sparrow's sleeping, his body makes a noise. Cause and reaction? It sounds I don't know. like snoring. Oh, okay. Natasha said, I'm also a doctor. Natasha. For my robot friends. Oh. I remember one Probably time, Miss Seal saw me trying to pull a component out of a crack in the rocks. She smashed the rocks with one hand and walked to the I had time to say thank you. Wait a minute. How about Sally? Remember one time Miss Sally saw me trying to pull a component? Sally's in here. Did you I need know Sally! Mr. Sparrow's hands can turn <laughs> Did into I know that already? that dry my hair. Also, he can hair cut fire? big stones and turn them into little tables and chairs. <laughs> okay, hammer. What? Also, they can cut big stones, uh, uh, saws? And turn, yeah, okay, saws. Well, Hook invited me to join the moles. Hook, hook, I hook. want to, but no hook yet. I think Mr. Sparrow's too moles. big to play hide and seek with us. Hmm. Cool underground group or Luca? something. That, that's neat. The moles. He's nice to people. The, the he firearm guy. Patient, but he's actually very caring. Okay. Cool. Target threat index. Lower target threat index. It's just him for Raised. all you think. No, no. She she spoke up I in the trials. I need to be brave. Yeah. I, oh. I'm not afraid of you. Oh <laughs> come on, Time Jesus. Time to do something. Be careful, Mr. Sparrow. Eliminating threat. Oh. Hide. Commencing annihilation. So good. Oh, this is so good, okay. man. Oh. Ouch. I love I this animation so too. much, man. Help me, Mr. Sparrow. Oh my Stay god. Back, Clara. This is my most amusing character, I think, in any of the games so far, is I think. everyone okay? Oh. Oh. I'm back. <laughs> Even when she's down, she's asking if everyone else Thanks. is okay. I'll never forget you. Me kinda... It's getting yeah. to me, man. I hope I helped. If Jeez. you find any components, can I have them? <laughs> Clap though. We did it. High threat target ahead. Don't worry, Mr. Sparrow. We'll be safe here. <sighs> Jeez Louise. Okay, well, this is fun. I need to uh, level you up to level uh, max. <laughs> Minus one. There we go. Whoop. Enjoy all the power all at once and for you we're going to get destruction in here Deals outstanding amounts of damage and possesses great survivability suitable for various combat scenarios I love it, man. Survivability damage, okay uh, Destruction we are looking at destruction Following effects only work on characters of a path of destruction. We have this one too for destruction. Oh, I forgot he was destruction Keep thinking he's out here addition, but no, 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 destruction. Okay, so for you, let's see, we got uh, the wearer's current HP is lower than 80% crit rate increase. Ooh, that, I mean, conceptually, I feel like I'm for this. Like, I always like characters that, I've been, this is crazy, because this just came up in um, Kitchen Impact. But characters that take a risk, and they do more damage, the more dam the more, they do more damage, the more damage they get. I got two of them. That's tempting. I got four of these though that could stack real fast for enhancements. So increases the wearer's basic attack and skill damage. I mean basic attack by 20%. That's kind of that scales fast. Cause that's like gonna be common, right? Especially if you gotta use it to like get the points for other people to like take leverage. But oh man, that's that one's really good though, too. Oh, this one's cool. Oh god, I don't know what to do. This would feel like Svarog, like, get, like, the more, because he gets, like, RP-wise, you know? Like, he kept more panicked with, like, more aggressive and more, uh, just wants to destroy things to protect her, you know, to save her. So I feel like this one conceptually makes so much sense, you know? 
But that this was also like if he's protecting you, I mean, you can work it out. You know, he's doing more damage. Like, but this is more like overall he's going to do better. But this one feels like it's a panic mode kicks in, you know, and he berserks. So I like the idea of that. Uh, but this one, I, I like the idea of stacking these faster. <laughs> Honestly, at the end of the day, I like leveling these up. Um, so... Until I learn how to play, until I get more comfortable with her, maybe I will and spark. I'm going to take this one. I think it's a safe one to take. So let's, uh, let me try something now. Let's go enhance. Um, I, I probably need to wait until I get to the next character, but. Right, I can just max this out. Oh, 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 that's not what I want to check. I want to check superimpose. So it does have something like Genshin, which I just did today to mess around with this. One. So this is the one where you add the same ones into this one. There's no reason I don't. But I got one. I got one more character. Oops! I got one more character. Let's get through that one as well. Oh, you wait. You're not physical. Oh shit! Yeah, he felt like a fire to me. But then, as I said, I was like, no, I don't think he was. I think he just punches. So physical. Using physical attacks to trigger weakness break will deal physical damage and apply the bleed effect. Wait, let me double check something here. That's right. I like my character. I like this character though. But I can have two of them pounding and we have nihility. That's what again? Applies debuffs to enemies to reduce their combat capacities. So get debuffs though. He's going to go straight destruction. Boom. Just damage for survivability. Mm, 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 mm. But then he's mm, debuffing the field Ooh, for bosses. They'd be good, man. Mm, 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 that's really good. All right, let's level this up. Let's get uh, you auto as well and burn some of these away. Mm, Kablamo. And then let's, oops, and then let's get this one. What are we looking at? We're looking at a four star here. Wait, no one's taking this one? Why not? <laughs> what? Wait, when the wearer hits an enemy and if the hit enemy is not already ensnared, then there is a 6% base chance to ensnare the hit enemy ensnared. Enemy's defense decreases by 12% for one turn. It's a debuff character. I mean, it seems to go thematically with that. Four star though, we see there's four of these ones and four of these ones. So what are we looking at here? Increased damage dealt from its wear to slowed enemies. Yes, that feels like a condition. You have to be able to trigger that though. But he's a debuff character. Does he have this? Hold on, let's back out. Let's go to abilities. Let's check techniques first. We got immediately attack the enemy upon entering combat. Luca deals physical damage equal to 50% of his attack. Go random single enemy, 100% base chance to, to bleed. And then Luca gains one additional stack. A fighting will. Okay, fighting will. This physical damage. Do, 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 do. Okay, with Sky Shatter Fist, we got single target. It's what consumes two stacks of fighting will. So I gotta build up will, and then the, and then his powers get better. Equal to 10% of Luca's attacks with single target. Then uses Rising Uppercut to deal one hit, dealing physical damage equal to 40% of Luca's attack. Okay. Hmm. Using. That's just 50% like this, though. <laughs> Wait. Consumes two stacks. First uses direct punch to deal direct punch to deal three hits with each hit, dealing physical damage equal to ten percent of Luca's attack. Okay, so it's more. I see. Then uses rising uppercut. Bam, bam, bam. Right. So there's a little bit more. It stacks damage. Okay. Um. And then what else? Uh, this one. This physical damage equal to 60% of Luca's attack to a single enemy, 100% base chance to inflict bleed for three turns. And then, ooh, wow. When bleeding, the enemy will take 24% of their max HP as physical damage over time at the start of each turn. It's fun. This is fun. It feels like fun. I'm about to put like a damage team together, like damage and fire maybe together. I mean, with damage over times or bleeds and weaken the enemy like i can feel i feel like i have a troop that i would like to put together so it'd be like kalis himiko uh don hong and luca possible Ooh, no i have to get claire in there <laughs> so, I, okay i'll think about it i'll think about it um okay ultimate is receives two stacks of ultimate a fighting will with a 10 with 100 percent base chance to increase single enemy's targets damage received by three turn wait what <laughs> receives two stacks so, okay, I can get his basic attack to do more damage. To increase the single enemy's <laughs> target's damage received by 12% for three turns. Well, like anybody hitting this character does, 
would do 12% more damage. Then deals physical damage equal to 198% of Luca's attack to the target. That's insane. It's like a, it's like a crit. And you make them weak against other attacks for three turns. That's pretty massive. That's pretty massive. So he doesn't slow. What I was looking for was a slow option here. Okay, last rating fist. Um, basic attack direct punch is enhanced to sky shatter fist. Okay. And then after his enhanced basic attacks, rising uppercut. Okay, does the bleed. Okay, there's no slow. So unless he's on a team with a character who does slow, that was a long way of going. Don't take the one that does this. <laughs> Where to slow at enemies. That doesn't make sense. Although it's a good stacking opportunity. Let's move to the next one. At the start of the battle, the, wear, the wear's effect hit rate increases by 20% for three turns. He stared into the void, hanging high like the dark sun at the end of all matter, or a mouth that answered all questions it said, redacted. The answer couldn't be expressed in any human language. I've read that. That's creepy. It's like a black hole thing here. I feel like it has to be this one. Oh, he's got it? Hmm. I mean, I guess I have to take this one, to be honest. Otherwise, I'm taking this one, which doesn't make sense to me because I don't have slowed. Maybe, uh, I've got, I've got his name. But maybe he has it. All right, you know what? I'm going to take this one as well. Equip. And I think I didn't check your stuff, though, did I? Uh, information. The boxing champion in Bellabog's Underworld and one of Wildfire's most capable fighters, the constructive, the consecutive reigning champion of the Fight Club, whose enthusiasm inspires children of the Underworld to dream big. An optimistic and carefree fighter with a mechanical arm, skilled in mixed martial arts, and is a wildfire member. From the light cage to the battlefield, and from a fighter to a warrior, Luca uses his strength to protect the people of the underworld. See, I already love the story. I do. I love the story. He wishes to bring hope to others precisely because he had experienced despair himself. I love it. Boys, let's see what he sounds like. Oh, hey, I'm Luca, a member of Wildfire. Roughing up thugs and protecting the townsfolk is just part of my everyday job. Local hero, I love him. The tournament's starting. Great. There I go. Let me get warmed up. Yeah. Need a rest? Go. I like that. That looks like a fire I'll right tell there. Tell you a secret though. Champion wins by training hard while others rest. Hmm. Even though he's like a physical, you know, but he still has the motif that little Himiko flashback thing feeling here. I know it's not right, but it, it feels like it's a whole different vibe here. But it does. Uh, I do like the fire. I don't fight stuff because I like on. violence or want to win the championship or to show off to anyone. I just think there are too many thugs in the underworld That's and the crazy. kids need a good example. But I kind of I kind of considered him as like a heated personality. I always I always considered fire characters to have that that concept like carry over into their personality type, but that doesn't seem to be the My case in Star Rail, at least with Himiko and Try not and to Luka. think too much about what you lost. It's not fire, I know, but think more about what you gained. Every time I look at my red arm, hair, man. I remember those words. He sounds so like gentle, though. Not really interested, unless of course there's a worthy opponent up there, or but he kicks a ass. that needs a good yeah. lesson. But to protect the, the civilians. Popular Fight Club motto: Make friends with the one who hurts you the most. No wonder everyone wants to be my friend. <laughs> Vegetables, mushrooms, ugh, disgusting. Why is it whenever there's an extinction, it's never these things? Oh, what? No, mushrooms? I it's got hard to believe, of mushrooms. but I there are folks them willing to spend much. their whole lives putting hammer to them. iron from pickaxe to stone. I, didn't hate I him, know, but... I know. Not everyone has the opportunity to follow their dreams. Hmm. A lot of but dream motifs dreams, going on here. I don't think I'd have made it this far. Nice. Have you heard of the three wonders of the underworld? Hmm. Geomero, Heartless oh. Supervisors, and Luca's Fist of Steel. Boom. Unless my injuries are serious, I try my best not to bother Natasha. Hmm. Too many people need her help. They and shouldn't the have to suffer for my carelessness. <laughs> Natasha. I would like a Natasha. Zila. Now, In the how lineup. coax her into joining the tournament? So there you go. That would be the next character I want. easily be crowned champion. Who unless she meets me. <laughs> Sele. I need Sele. I need Sele and Natasha. <laughs> Gotta find an opportunity Spot to rock. beat that tin-headed in arm wrestle. Nice. No, no, you thought I was serious? Well, maybe the right arm. <laughs> I don't need a middleman. Mm. Plus, anyone who calls themselves <clears throat> tall, blue, and handsome definitely can't be trusted. <laughs> Everyone says Hook is too naughty, but Hook, I think she's again. a good kid. Oh, Bad Hook. Example, 
uh, the look at the character I was going to go for. I, I was rolling any, for. Just my gut feeling. Okay. What do you mean, spoken like a true honorary member of the moles? <laughs> the moles. It makes sense now because she digs. She comes out the other end in the trial. So I wonder if uh, do some of these characters pop up because they're they're special characters for the polls, and so then you the other characters will voice opinions on them, and that's the only way you get no because Sale hasn't come up yet, as far as I can remember, since I installed the game, started playing it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, Some characters are connected to others ones more closely. I was just I wondering know. how much training I've got left before I can finally beat Master Oleg. Oleg. I need to hurry up. If it gets too old, it won't be impressive anymore. <laughs> okay. So. I don't remember yet? who Oleg is. I might have played him as a uh, temp. I'm, I'm not just sure. getting started. Trials. I could take you one arm only. <laughs> Small fry. Better throw a punch, or it'll be curtains, friend. Need a hand? Oh, wow. My pleasure. Don't get cocky now. Blam. Snap out of it. Is that all you got? Nice. We're talking. Oh, hit by a heavy attack. Yeah, it's like you're ducky. Where's the applause? It's like a worthy opponent, you know. An opponent worth their salt. Gotta keep fighting. Back in the ring. Return to keep battle. Keep catching nice. me up. Uh -huh. yeah. Strike first. Now that's a gold-winning victory. Huh. Another surprise. Bronze good and all, but what would it be without brains? <laughs> Here comes the appetizer. Enemy target found. <laughs> nice. Okay. I want to find somewhere to put my feet up. All right. Take a little relaxation. All right. We are, we're at the point now where I can basically enhance whatever cards I put on characters because that's where we're going to, that's where we're going to keep this lineup. Let's waste them all up here. I'll do that together with all of you. So... There we go. Increase this effect rate by 40% for three rounds. I like it. It's good. And I can also level them up and burn these away. But first, I like to focus on the characters I'm actively using so that I can uh, maximize the output of those uh, those pieces. Let's superimpose these. I don't have any. Let's go down the line, of course, and just clear out some of the, the back stock, you know. Just, who cares? Gone. I uh, likely won't get another character anytime soon. And if I do, I'll... Pick up some more stuff, you know, and then we'll deal with it. Um, I don't think you have any left because I burned them away, and that's okay. Um, uh, enhance and superimpose and auto add. Let me go through this. It's going. This is going good. Thirty-five percent to forty. Um, can't go hard. Can't go wrong, man. Um, superimpose, auto add. Booyah! There goes another three. Couple ammo. Uh, let's see what we got. Increases the wearer's ultimate damage by 56%. God damn. <laughs> God damn, yes. We've got four star here. This is likely not going to have one. There's no way I do. No, of course I do not. So that's the thing. Wouldn't like the three stars at this point, if you keep ranking them up, wouldn't they effectively become better than a four star? Or four star is always better because, oh, do they have more stats that they impact? You know what I mean? Like, how would I? How, um, well, this is a level 10 because I leveled it. But it definitely looks better. I mean, if this is the stats that's loading out here, I mean, it's definitely better. <laughs> so I'm not sure. A four star is always better than even an enhanced rank. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Do I have the right one showing here? Superposition four here, right? But it's still nowhere close to a four star. So I just hope that the meta actually makes sense that way, that a four star will always be better, even with the superimposed ones. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. We got another four star here, unlikely, but let me just check by spamming like, like that. I'm not spamming, just systematically, systematically is what I meant. And then we'll enhance this one, superimpose, hopefully this, yo, yeah, hell yeah, max that suck out, boom. So we got one to five when the wearer breaks an enemy's weakness, the wearer restores HP by 20% to their max HP. It's okay, I'm, I mean, I wasted it now, but is there another one? I feel like I could use with her, that might be better. God damn, I saw two more, eh? We got this one, which is a solo. When the wearer unleashes their ultimate, I'm always... No, I'm not. No, pretty often. Okay, so they restore HP. It's still a restore HP piece. And then it increases the wearer's defense by 60%. If the wearer's current HP is lower than 50%, increases their defense by further 60%. It's also good. It's also good. But I guess I'm okay with breaks. Yeah, okay, we're good here. Um, just feels a little bit more... I have to... 
hard planet to pull off that the bonus that comes off there unless if someone else breaks it then she heals okay but if i have to break it and i feel wait for my turn you know what i mean like it can just be more difficult to pull off and it's more random okay so then we have uh his enhance it's a three star so we might have uh set here Ooh, okay we go up one level perfect uh, where it deals 30% more damage to enemy targets whose HP percentage is greater than HP. So that's what it's rem like. I might have to have notes in front of me, right? Because I'll forget these kinds of things. Because especially if you start swapping characters a lot, this kind of stuff is going to be like, it's just going to, you're going to forget it, you know? Um, I mean, I will because it's just there's too many decisions to make. And maybe I change it at some point because I want something better. But then I think I have this, but then I've already moved it and I don't have it anymore. But I'm still playing in the style as if I have it. But if I can make it a play style, then it becomes intuitive and I don't have to think about that I have this as I'm always going to have this. But it's a three star. So it's eventually going to get replaced. But right now it feels like, no, he always goes for the healed ones because he's going to take, he's going to deal more damage to them for the other ones to then clean up the field, you know. But he goes for the fresh ones because he's going to deal more damage. So it's more DPS on the field by doing strategies like that. As opposed to the solid, the valid strategy of like, no, if something's almost dead, just kill it and take it off the field. So you remove their action economy off of the field. But I understand that. But at the same time, you're like, oh, man, I don't know. Like, there's a bit of a balance there. Like, there's a give and take. You have to kind of make a call there, right? Uh, based on the enemies as opposed to, uh, there's a lot of stuff that the AI likely wouldn't be thinking of. But this is the kind of stuff that would make me think. Otherwise, ha why have these? Why have a thing like this? This is obviously for a strategy or a gameplay uh, mode, right? Okay, anyways. So I've, I've, uh, I've maxed all this out. Now I can think about, okay, which ones do I play a lot? And which ones do I want to level? This one's cool. Uh, so yeah, let's enhance. It's a three star though. I think I was trying to only upgrade them. Oh God, because I would burn all of these away right now. These 31 out of 31. Yeah, I think I put a halt on that because I want to make sure I could get some four stars, but they're probably rarer than I'm willing to wait for them, maybe. Er. Increase the damage of the wearer's basic attack and skill by 24%. This effect increases... By an extra 24 no this is this is a really good one so i got this one at 11 already but this is a really good one and it's a four star i should be leading with him whenever he's on the team and if i do that because i can do the um hmm because yeah he's like like as a critter critter as a critter he's yeah, hmm he's good that's just a good one and then if i i'm bringing her on the team for sure so let me just oh she's destruction too oh geez i see that the power <laughs> that the this the situation my situation i kind of like destruction and ability and so no erudition i like erudition and destruction seems to be the pattern I'm, I'm seeing here erudition destruction destruction he's getting ability erudition below or equal to 50 percent increases damage dealt by follow-up attacks by an extra 24%. So this is a scenario where if I put a Serval and a Kalos on the same squad, now we got something that does some synergy here. You know what I'm saying? He goes in for the first hit, you follow it up with Serval attacking the same target after they go under 50%, and now you're just wiping the field of that particular focus for these two characters. Whenever they're on the team, you focus that play style, you're gonna maximize the light cones. <laughs> Below or equal to. Increased damage dealt by follow-up attacks. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. <laughs> That's a cool little uh, balance there, though. That could be a lot of fun. Um, okay, anyways, and then we got this one. Increase the damage of the wares. No, this is just straight up, just extra damage. The effect increases by an extra 24% when the wares' current energy reaches its maximum level. Isn't that your ultimate? So like, don't use your ultimate because you're doing 25% each shot and he's got to have the crit attack. That's why the AI is doing the ultimate, which is really good. But like, if you just save it, you're going to be getting 24% on your super attack. So just use a super attack until you get a, a, a fresh character that you can do the ultimate on or something. I don't know. Little things like that. Makes sense to me to wait. Okay, so if I enhance this thing, this is a good one. So I got level three or star or below. Is that dangerous? I think I set this just to speed things up. Or maybe I shouldn't do that. Uh, I don't know. So wait, when I did three star below, it actually... It included... Um, these are three stars? Oh, I guess they are. Yeah, but... I guess why not would be my question. I don't know. Why not, though? I don't know. I don't know. If I reduce that, that'll get it to 19. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. 
I think there's going to be a, something to get this to 20 anyways. But I'll let this uh, go the rest of the way on its own. And the other four star we got, I might want to just crank this up as well because I can. There we go. So minus one of these. Boom, that goes to 19. Let, the, let it do the rest on its own. And then mm, one of the three stars, I guess I'll go for his because he'll always be on the team as far as I... I mean, I want him on the team. I could replace him... With her. <laughs> Destruction, I mean... Her. Oh man, this is going to be a hard call. Yeah, I'm going to keep the threes. I sh yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to let let the two... Let, let, I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's Let's... Just talk myself out of this. Stop. Stop clicking on things. It, that's the whole... <laughs> that's the whole run. I got bookshelf. I don't think I have anything new in here. I do not. I'm pretty sure I went through those. And... And now in terms of like the team setup. I can look at the team. And I can build out another team. Um, what would I do here now? Was that? Okay, let's just start a new team. Because it's going to be easier for me to think this through. So if I do a Kalis... Just because if I do like a damage, like a cray cray damage team, I'm gonna say I mean a Kalis and a Serval together, I could do some battle. I could do that whole primary target thing that they focus on, and they wreck them, and then the other ones will follow. But then if I do that, I can't get a Donghong and a Clara, a Clara, so or a Himiko in there. Oh fuck, I can't do this. So I'd have to go Himiko. Oh, she's fire as well. <laughs> Damn it. Um, uh, Who would be my secondary? If I were to think about a secondary, it'd be Dong Hong. It had to be Dong Hong. It has to be. It has to be. He goes in for crits. These are like the hunters. You know, like the hunter killers. Oh, that's a good, that's a good one. Could I name the teams? That'd be so much fun. Also, I haven't played with Serval enough. To, uh, no, Sampo. Enough. <laughs> Sampo. Not her. She's awesome. Uh, enough to know what his... But he's in the hell But... To see how he plays and how he fights, how much cray cray he brings onto the field. But in any case, our tertiary, like who'd be our follow, our backup? I think our no, our our tertiary would be a Luca for damage on the field, but like control. I would say something like this, and then our backup would be would be a Declare. She'd be in the rear, rear, like rear guard. You know, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I can edit the team. I mean, maybe that's this one, but Hunter Killers. Something like that. I want a team that's just, I'm gonna go out there and decimate. Now, I don't know if Luca's the one to put in here or if it'd be like a Himiko. You know? I think he'd be more damage on the field. Is my field right now? I mean, even Serval is good, but they're all good. They're all good for their own things. But I'm saying, like, if I wanna go out there and just destroy, I'm saying, like, Damn it, it's Himiko or Luca. Himiko just put. Let me, let me see your fingers. <laughs> Damn it, here we are. End of the episode, working this out. Uh, after technique creates dimension. Okay, this is, the, this is the one where. Yeah, fire damage taken by enemies by 10%. See, I need a fire team for her. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to do that, even though it might feel redundant to just go in strong fire. It's only 10%. Fire damage taken by enemies by 10%. I mean, but she's outputting fire. Yeah, but it's like if you at least have two characters outputting fire on that group with that Himiko, you're already. It's just compounding. If you can get three characters, even more. But then you, you know, you might be up against characters that aren't fire and then you're screwed. But that's the that's the whole thing, the risk of min maxing a squad, you know? That's, that's the risk, yes. Now, did I. Okay, I'm still in here. So. That's a lot of, we got destruction, nihility. Wait, these are all physical though, right? That These are physical icons. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's where it becomes extremely risky to pull this off. I don't want to put a Himiko into a hunter killer group though. I don't feel like that sounds right. <laughs> uh, he feels like more of a hunter killer. Here, let's see what's in the details here again. I, I know, I shouldn't be taking <laughs> like that. It, 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 it's a part of concept, has to work, man. The abilities, let's see, this thing is, uh, is, is he impair? 
blind for 10 seconds. So he blinds the enemy. Uh, his ultimate deals wind damage equal to 96% of Sanfu's attack. Damage over time. Hmm. His talent is inflict wind shear for three turns. Enemy inflict wind shear. Damage over time, 20%. So it's a damage over time character. Hmm. It's a cool idea, but, but, Aherta? She's not a hunter killer, she's got a bit of a punk thing going on with the whole electric rock. I mean, I could make it work, but Herta is a hunter killer? I don't know, it doesn't feel right. I feel like I'm really pushing it by going in full physical, though. Yeah, but that's the point. It's supposed to be concept. It's not supposed to make sense. Yeah, it's not supposed to make sense. This is my thematic team. That's it. And this would be Alpha Squad right now, even if it switches out. I want to have an Alpha Squad, which is the one that I consider my primary. And so right now, this is a solid bet. I feel like... Um, the beta squad might replace uh, Asta with a Himiko. Uh, this feels redundant. Um, I would replace Serval, uh, of course, with a Clara. I would maybe do this. These would be redundant. She might have to replace a Kalos because they're the same thing, man. Offering the same thing on the field. He'd be a damager. That just makes sense to me. That like he just makes so much sense. I love I love this character. And this would be the beta squad like team. So I need to have I need to differentiate these as I go. But this would be the beta squad. And beta squad, like if I had like um themes for them, like what are they going in for? Then I could just I don't need to RP this going in, but it just helps me think 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 the, these things through. So Marsh would be in there because, you know, this is like the rounded group. This is like they're going in. They got each one of them has like um like Serval would be the replacement. These three would be the primaries. The fourth would be the replacement um, based on the element that we need or something like that. Hmm. We're done. I need I need the primary team to have uh, the different paths. And then the beta team, I, I'm okay with having some duplicates. I, I can't believe I'm taking this long to talk this through. I don't know if I, you all care about this kind of stuff, me thinking this stuff through out loud like this. This is not, this is a whole episode of me just pondering team composition. Oh my God. Well, this is the closure of the episode because I went over time by drawing three different characters and having to work this out. Beta squad. The beta squad, if Clara is in here, why is Clara in here? I, I gotta think, like, why is Clara in here? Do I need Clara in here? Because if I would like Clara, it feels like a, I would love to have her in a primary squad, but I'm okay if she's in a secondary and it and it feels right. Like a recon, or they pull, they're going like recon. That like So she's kind of leader, like the mentor going in there, driving things. She's in there for support. He goes in there because he's kind of like the roguey kind of info gatherer, if I can think of it that way, even though I don't need to do it. I know I understand that, but I'm trying, I want to work that out. And so she becomes a replacement here. And then the, this one is Hunter Killers. And then as I do more of these, do you expand these? Like, do, these, do they give you more as you level up? They'll give you more squad compositions or do you eventually, it's just six. Six is always the max. So that's the case, I guess. Some will be swap outable, but right now I like the theme of the killers going in and just seeing what they can do from a damage perspective. And I feel like I'm gonna enable this team now. <laughs> Done. Okay, so <laughs> that took me so long. Don't forget about home new mission. Uh, let's talk to Welt and see if he's got something new real quick. Killers, you're back. We narrowly averted disaster and now we're home. We almost didn't make it back. We nearly averted a disaster. It's a shame I couldn't go with you. Kalis, you're welcome to come and talk to me anytime. Although I cannot travel with you, I can at least share your adventures. There's something I want to ask about. What do you want to know? I will do my best to answer your questions. About the companions. About everyone on the Express? Who would you like to know about? About Himiko. 
Nice. So you get new people, they'll offer her things. Haha, -ha, she's the owner of the Express. We joke around calling Pom Pom the conductor, but everyone knows Himiko is the boss. It all started with her encounter with the Astral Express, and they haven't been apart since then. She's extremely passionate, like a burning sun. However, she remains mysterious most of the time. Once in a while, you feel that she's burning herself out, trying to accomplish her dream. There's a dream thing again. Only someone like her is worthy of the Astral Express. I think Himiko's vision of her whole life revolves around a very important dream. Damn. Okay. Oh, it shows that we've done this. Was that always there? I feel like I never saw that before. How about Pom Pom? To be honest, I don't know when Pom Pom appeared. I think it was before I came, uh, I came to the Express. No, wait. Maybe it was after. Pom Pom is like the spirit of the Astral Express. Whenever anyone on the Express needs help, when... Uh, they will uh, appear immediately. It would be ill-advised to underestimate them. Pom-Pom is terrifying when they get angry. Yes, terrifying. How about Danong? Danong is a lonely child. He may appear distant and cold, but his heart is kind. Perhaps he's the way he is today because he spent so much time on the run. Sometimes he reminds me of myself when I was young. We don't know what he's running from. He once told me that he didn't know either. All he knew was that something was chasing him and that he had to run away. First from Shin Zhao, then the IPC. So he boarded the ship of a troop called the Morning Actors and escaped the IPC. After a while, he made his way to the Express and he's stayed here longer than anywhere else. Don't worry, no matter who or what wants to hurt Dong Hong, we won't let them. Those who dare attack members of the Astral Express should be prepared to suffer the wrath of me and Himiko. About March 7th. Did Himiko tell you about March 7th? She was trapped in ice, floating through space. We happened upon her and rescued her. It was a unique type of ice known as six-phased ice, a substance that adheres to imaginary law, meaning the external forces cannot change its form. I feel like I've asked this before, but they're all lit up as if I could ask, but this is feeling familiar to me. Whoever sealed her inside the six-phased ice, no matter who it is, did so either to protect or banish her. I believe she had been floating through space for some time. I have another question about Welt. About Welt's past. My past. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm just an ordinary white collar employee. Back home, I worked as a concept artist at an animation studio. Really? About Welt's powers. Long story short, my powers came from an older acquaintance. You could say I inherited his mission and will. I see. I can mimic anything as long as I understand its principles, which is useful for work. As for black holes, that's an even longer story oh my god okay i'll tell you about it some other time look at that about wells friends my friends are far away i hope to find a way back home with the astral express's help people are waiting for me to go back after all damn but this isn't something that can be solved with impatience there aren't many ways to travel between worlds and the astral express has graciously accepted me i've asked madame herda to send a signal on my to my home if my family receives my message, they will know that I am safe. Now, my friends are the Express, the crew, and you, of course. But what's enemies? Enemies? I've taken care of my past enemies. If I have to say, my current enemies are Nanook, the Stellaron, and the Antimatter Legion. I want to protect the beauty of this world from those that follow the path of destruction. Uh, uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I follow the path of destruction. About the galaxy, about the history of the galaxy. There are many gaps in the history of the galaxy which extend far beyond the limits of human cognition. Moreover, the Aeon Enigmata is going around destroying precious historical records everywhere. It is said that there was a huge gap in the records between the birth of the universe and, the, and when Aeons appeared. During that time, strange existences known as Leviathans roamed. However, Leviathans disappeared from the Aeons when the Aeons were born, legend has it that the Ouroboros, the Veracity, was the last remaining Leviathan, but no one knows if that's true. The most ancient Aeon, Klepoth, gave birth to the Interstellar Peace Corporation. From then on, we have the modern history of the galaxy, but before then, the records are incomplete. About the Aeons. Oh, I love this topic. Honestly, what are Aeons? I once confused the enemy of my home with the Aeons, but I soon discovered that the two are different in nature. An overlord is the antimatter legion, 
an overlord in the antimatter legion can incinerate entire star systems while their calamity vanguards are perfectly capable of destroying a planet by themselves aeons are so powerful that they're near invincible long before the destruction existed a swarm disaster from the propagation spreads through the stars and the war between the abundance and the hunt has all has also ruined many worlds at least one rule is certain aeons can only operate according to their prime primum mobile for example we won't have we, we won't ever have to worry about the harmony stirring up a storm about the factions the concept of factions might be long if a faction is all about coming together for a common purpose then even the astral express can be considered as one there are almost a hundred factions involved with the aeons some faithfully follow the primum 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 mobile of the aeons while others have twisted the concept of the past to the point of absurdity as a history buff i would prefer to study the birth development and transformation of the factions rather than the aeons the factions represent the roads human beings chase out of faith and benefit for example how did the followers of klipoth the preservation become the interstellar peace corporation if you think about it you'll discover it's full of dark humor about paths we still need to study the nature of the past. For now, we can only describe it as a philosophical concept. It is a part of the imaginary element, the metaphysical aggregation of the spirit. When specific conditions are met, an intelligent being will completely take over this part of the imaginary. These intelligent beings are called aeons and the energy they possess is called paths. Aeons are free to use their past energies however they please, but are also bound by it. I have other questions, do we? I do not. <laughs> Didn't expect to go down that track of uh, plenty of questions, but we did. I mean, I have all the other characters I can ask. I can talk to Kamiko while I'm here. Now that she's on the group, let's see if she says anything new. Oh, back so soon? We nearly averted disaster, and now we're home. Yeah, it seems this world is a dangerous place, too, ever since the Astral Express embarked on this journey. Every world contaminated by the Stellaron has been problematic. Before the three of you boarded the Express, Wealth and I and someone else were adventuring together. It was the same back then as well. We would slowly trailblaze new worlds, find the Stellaron, and clear a path. No matter what world we were on, some difficulties remained constant. Misunderstandings caused by communication, enmity caused by cultural differences, and enemies with malicious intentions. But there is always something new. Keep up the good work, Kalis. You've never mentioned these things before. You've still got work to do. As for me, I've got to maintain Express while it is parked. We can take a long break after we're done with this world. Come find me if you're still interested then. Okay, there's something else I want to ask. Is there though? Are you sure? No, there is. About companions. <laughs> okay, you want to understand more about the nameless? Sure, I'll keep it short. About Himiko. Me? Uh, I don't have an interesting story. Long before I was born, the Astral Express crashed into my world. I found it when I was still young. From then on, my life became closely bound to it. It took me ages to repair the Express and board it to travel to the stars. It was the wish of the Express in my dream to set sail through the unknown sea of stars. About wealth. Wealth, he may appear to be a kind old man, but deep inside he's still a strapping youth with a hopeful heart. Don't tell him I said that, though. When we first met Wealth, he and his friend were drifting through space. The Express saved the two of them. Wealth is still trying to find a way back home to a planet that I've never heard of. However, it seems he's more interested in going on adventures. It's been a while since I've heard him mention going home. Hmm, about Dong Hong. It wouldn't be right of me to talk about Dong Hong without his permission, but it seems he has enemies after him. He boarded the Astral Express by coincidence and stayed because he had nowhere else to go. Now he is the biologist and overseer of the data bank on the, on the Express. It's strange. With how much he likes to read, I'm surprised he doesn't like to talk with Madame Herta. If you want to know more, ask him yourself. About March 7th, despite her cheerful demeanor, March is very anxious inside. When the Express found her, she was sealed in an enormous piece of six-faced ice. It took wealth a lot of work to get her back to the Express. Not long after the six-faced ice melted and vanished before our eyes. Marsh couldn't remember anything when she woke up. And the people on the Express have at least a place to call home. But that's not the case for her. She doesn't have anywhere to return to outside of the Express. Return to outside of the Express. Lately, she's been getting more proactive, but I believe she's only 
trying to cover up her fear with a superficial happiness. Yeah. About the Express. Oh, you want to know about the Express? I'm glad. After all, it's an important companion of ours about the history of the Express. The Astral Express was a tool created by Ekevili, the Trailblaze, who used it to transport himself and the Nameless across the galaxy. It is rumored that there are other vehicles like it, but the Express has no such records. Interesting. When I found the Express, the memory had been severely damaged, with more of its valuable information lost. All I know is that the Express is an aspect of creation built by Ekevili himself. Ooh. Ikevili themself, and used to travel the cosmos. As for how it was built and how it was damaged, I do not have an answer. About where the Express is headed. The Express is traveling on a route that Trailblaze once embarked on. The names of such destinations have been lost, but the first and final stops were both at Pigana, Ikevili's homeworld. We speculate the Astral Express started its journey from Pagana, stop, stopping at each destination along the way before returning there for its next journey. However, the appearance of the Stellarons has caused a delay at each, at each stop. That would the Express a source of power. There is a legend in the galaxy. The heart of the Kivili himself lies in the, the core of the Astral Express, providing it with the power to travel between worlds. But I found no evidence of that aboard the Express. Besides, the Express existed before the Trailblaze fell. There's no way they could have had two hearts, right? However, it is likely that the Express possesses some sort of mechanism to transfer power from the paths of the Trailblaze. It wouldn't be possible with a normal path strider. Mm -hmm. About Ikevili. The fallen Aeon deceased Trailblaze, their passing is still a mystery, but all of the a known Aeons, Ikevili was the closest to mankind. In the data bank aboard the Express, it is recorded that they walked among the mortals, adventuring, fighting, and celebrating with them. Although they were an aeon restrained by the Prima Mobile, Ikevili enjoyed a freedom similar to us mortals. They were different from most, but their passing came so suddenly that it was thought they were killed by another aeon. I don't believe that to be the case. Ooh. About the galaxy. The galaxy is endlessly vast. I wouldn't know where to begin, especially if you ask me that so suddenly. Okay, how about its nature? Many different worlds, yet I still know very little about the galaxy simply because it's too vast. As for its nature, there are a few theories that I can share with you. The most popular is probably the cosmos tree theory proposed by Xander, emanator of erudition and the first member of the genius society. He compared the galaxy to an enormous imaginary tree with its leaves being individual universes. There we go. I'm getting the lore, finally. Therefore, only aeons who draw their energy from the imaginary, the emanators, uh, and emanators who are blessed by aeons can travel through the spaces filled with imaginary energy. That's why planets where civilizations exist are so similar. The theory has its flaws. Elias, Elias Salas, the 56th member of the Genius Society, invented ultra remote sensing, providing that the imaginary element is unique. They shook the foundation of the cosmos tree theory. There are other theories as well, the stretching theory, the heat torch theory, and the parallel imaging theory. The Riddlers claim the galaxy is just a dream, and Nine's followers seem to like that claim. Nines or Xs? About the Aeons. Aeons are the most mysterious beings in the galaxy. All we know is that they ascended from the form of intelligent beings. As for the how and why, even the heavyweights over the Genius Society haven't the slightest clue. Upon ascending to Aeonhood, that beings gain upon that beings that beings gain power over the past, free to choose the allocation of imaginary energy however they wish, while suffering the restrictions of the Prima Mobile. The Aeon of Destruction seeks only to destroy the universe, while the Aeon of Erudition wants to find the answers for all that exists. Meanwhile, the Aeon of Preservation continues to forge walls, and the Aeon of Enigmata devotes themselves to obscuring all that is known. A cloud of mystery shrouds the Aeons. I heard Madame Herta recruited a team to try and solve the mysteries about them. About the factions. Compared to the Aeons, the factions are much easier to understand. Mortals with the same objectives gather together to practice their understanding of Aeons and, and the paths. Many Aeons are unreachable, but the factions are close to us. After a Kivili trail blazed across the galaxy, people became aware of the existence of other worlds. Gradually, more people started trying to use the power of the Aeons to travel between worlds. 
Hey yo. The Interstellar Peace Corporation is a good example. They worship Klepot, the aeon of preservation, but somehow it became the largest econ economic entity in the galaxy. Another example is the Genius Society. There is no shortage of eccentrics like Madame Herta who dedicate themselves to scientific research under the protection of erudition. These factions possess the same power as us to voyage between worlds. It would be hard to travel through the galaxy without them. How about the paths? The birth of an aeon gives rise to a path. The nature of the paths remains a mystery, leaving us to draw an analogy in a way that mortals can understand. It's a philosophical concept of sorts. A person is considered to be on a path when their will overlays with the path, that path. If that person has a strong enough will, they can draw power from that path. Those who can do so are called path striders. Path striders possess extraordinary powers, but are still insignificant compared to the aeons, like a drop of water in a vast ocean. Sometimes aeons will bestow a mortal with their powers, making them an emanator of that aeon. I, I don't know. I've worked out a whole model for something that's so, so parallel to this. It's insane. I should mention that once a path is open, I used to call them avatars. So I used to have like, a, it'd be like gods and then there'd be avatars and then there'd be paragons. And there'd be like a way, a chain of command of sorts. Like avatars would effectively be like demigods based on that, the gods power sets. Um, there might be proxies involved in there. So like, oh man, so this is all, it all, the philosophies were a big thing bound to it. It was, I actually attached it to the artist color wheel. Oh man. So it's all fun. It's all very fun to kind of see this all play out. Um, okay. So, cause the model is like forming in my head cause I've, I've had one in it for 20 years. Uh, that is how we are still able to travel across the stars despite Icky Vili's passing. I should mention that once a path is open, it cannot be closed, even with the fall of its Aeon. That is how we are still able to travel across the stars despite Icky Vili's passing. That's crazy. This is so good. About Trailblaze. Trailblaze is our mission and the source of strength that powers the Express to travel across the galaxy. About exploration. Explore the unknown world to continue our journey ahead. That's simple. About understanding. Understand the local culture and immerse ourselves within it. About emblazing? I actually forgot what I read there. Establish a connection with the new world. Rejoice with it and share in its fears. Establishing. About establishing. About establishing. Establish a connection with the world. About establishing, establish a connection with the new world, rejoice with it, and share in its fears. About connection, connect worlds together, carving an endless path. Icky feelings. Path. I don't have any more questions. Whew, I feel like, I don't know if that happened because my levels, my trailblaze levels or whatever they're called in this game, <laughs> have been going up. And so now these were triggered because that is all sort of amassed. Um, Passenger cabin, these characters could also have something to say at this point. I could give them a quick check because I'm already here. I'm losing, I feel like I'm losing my voice, so I've been going all day with the gaming. So, ooh, I'm starting to feel it. Um, March, you in here, March? I'm hearing music or bell thing, like wind chimes or something. I'm not sure if it's just because the audio is super low now, huh? Or what? How y'all feeling? I mean, this is background music, so this one shouldn't be loud. I guess. I'll go with that. Let's wait until we get into combat before I start messing with settings again. Okay, where are these folks at? Are they out in the field or something? Um, did this go somewhere up on this side? I forget. I oh, know. Hmm. I literally tried to jump. Like I'm playing Genshin or something. All right. Well, I don't know where the other ones are, but I guess I need to head out of here. Uh, unlock after completing the mission. Oh, my bad. That's not how I got out of here. What are you talking about? All right. So journal. What do we have? We have... Uh, yes, I know. Let's go to the bottom first. <laughs> Pom Pom seems to be troubled. Head back and console them. Okay. Let's console Pom Pom first before... Oh, is it... Wait. Are you looking this way? Or are you... Oh, you're not sad. Are you sad? Kalis. What? Why did you call me back? Oh, because of the message we got. Pom Pom is so clumsy at messaging people and keeps pressing the wrong thing. Come back regularly and see Pom Pom face to face, Kalis. 
Pom Pom called you back this time for a very simple reason, Kalen. Kalis, ahem. Have you ever been a bit confused or troubled on your journey of growth? Mm, yes, a little bit. Why, that's normal. Pom Pom remembers feeling similarly bewildered back in the day. I stay up all night, gazing at, up at the stars, exploring. Uh, whoops, how did that sentence go again? Drats, Pom Pom completely blanked on what comes after. Anyway, it's great to see you continue growth, Kalis. Here's a reward for you. Quick, take it. And after what just happened to Pom Pom, please don't tell anyone. It was just a minor slip. What? It wasn't a slip. Was that the typo you were talking about? Were you worried about the typo, bro? Bro, it's just a typo, bro. It's just a typo. Let it go. Wow, we. It's Pom Pom's favorite person, Kayla. So, <laughs> for Pom Pom, the express and its journeys. Okay, hold on. How's my Trailblaze level going? Uh, I will claim this. Thanks. Star Rail Pass. <laughs> go figure. Shit. All right, we'll get there. Uh, perfect. Oh man, I had to come back here, huh? Yeah, I did. That's okay. It's a week of those runs. Let's go, baby! Stellar Jade, Stellar Aether. Uh -huh. Another one. Ooh. Fuel, Adventure, and then... Oh, oh, oh! Ayo! <laughs> Stellar Pass. I can do it now. I should hold. I'm gonna hold. Fight it, fight it. Let's get to 18, baby! Fuel! Bam! Hell yeah, look at this, holy shit! Knights Forgiving, get the fuck, what is this? That looks like a whole suit of armor, man. Knights Silent Oath Ring, Knights Solemn Breastplate, Knights Iron Boots of Order. There's no equipment, you don't know where equipment. That's a shit, hold on, click on this. Oh, oh, I totally forgot to check on these things. <laughs> oh shit. Got a whole set here. Oh my gosh, okay, it's cool stuff. Okay, claim. I'm still going? How far did I go? <laughs> that was a good yield there, holy shit! Stellar Jade? No way, no way! Oh my god, Shadow of Destruction? Oh my god, that's a big thing, what is this? Material for Raging Trailblazer, Trailblazer Destruction's Eidolon level. It's a six star? Five star, five star. That feels important. Holy shit, how far did I go? Wow! A light cone for another four star. Shit, man, that's crazy. And another star pass, holy shit. Okay, uh, holy crap, hola. All right, upgrade mission. What? 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 Stop, wait, wait. Okay, so this is 21 right here. That's insane. That I did. That was insane. Mission guide. That was a crazy yield. Okay, road to revival. Hurts a space station storage zone. I still haven't done the storage zone. I know that's weird. <laughs> no, did I go to the robot settlement and complete the trial of equilibrium part one? I must complete Trailblaze mission. Not good with farewell. So okay, there's. We're getting ahead of ourselves, I think. And then we got back to the administrative district and check out the planet. Holy shit, man. Okay, well there you go. I got a bunch of stuff out of the way, which is great. Nice. Let's talk to Pom Pom though. And let's, um, let's about Dong Hong and Himiko's coffee. One of the things Pom Pom admires about Dong Hong is that he can actually drink Himiko's coffee. He even complimented her on it a few times. I used to wonder if there was something wrong with Dong Hong's taste buds, but later he mentioned to me in passing that he regards Himiko's coffee as an excellent tool to test his grit. <laughs> anyway, please don't mention any of this to Himiko. As the, Express, as the Express's navigator, she puts in a lot of work that goes unnoticed, so Pom Pom tries to not to be too hard on her. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. So it is actually terrible coffee. About March 7th, Pom Pom's, Pom -Pom's ears. Out of all the passengers on the Express, March 7th causes the most headaches for me. She always wants to tie my ears into bows. So whenever I see March with her camera in hand, Pom Pom will find an excuse to go do something else. Pom Pom's always really, really busy after all. Nice. Bro, you're talking to Pom Pom right now. Stop playing on the goddamn cell phone. Wowee, Pom Pom saves per person. Yay. Okay, about the facilities. 
there are different rooms on the express. So naturally, there are different facilities as well. Of course, the express has things like bathrooms. And when all passengers overindulge on drinks from the food truck, they have to wait in line to use them. And why does everyone always leave their phones on the bathroom counter? It's so weird. Nice. I'm always finding people's phones there. That probably happens for real. Favorite person, hearts, about Welt Yang, an embarrassing past. Welt. Welt is a man who seems to have been through a lot. He is calm and composed, though Pom Pom has seen him lose his cool on a rare occasions. Hmm. You want to know what caused him to lose his cool? Oh, it's nothing really. You see, Welt used to be an animator. Whenever the Express passed by certain planets, he would use his mimicry ability to reproduce a, s a few episodes for others to see. That's crazy. What? You, what? This resulted in a group of fans chasing after him to beg for a sequel. Walt hid in the Express for several days straight, saying that he was just helping Himiko do some repairs. Nice. But Pom Pom doesn't remember the Express needing any kind of repairs at the time. Oh my gosh. So much, man. About Himiko's uh, bland coffee. Oh, that's repeating. Okay, well then, I'm heading out. I've got nothing else to say, Pom Pom. I think we're good. Whew. Oh my god, my throat. What do I want to do? Oh, I've uh, I've derailed everything, but that's okay. Administrative district. I, I, I mean, what I... Oh. Redeemable with Tarium. Uh, what? Right here? What? Internal purchase officer. Hmm. Oh, I gotta buy something. It's one of the quests. Let's go do this real quick. Oh god, hold on. Not currently in the area. Would you like to teleport to nearby space to anchor and track the objective from there? I see. I do have to go back, I guess. I guess I don't do this. This is one of my challenges, though. No? I think it was. How do I get to that one? Nice. Um, I got a character thing I can do, though. Eidolons. That's right. Goddamn. Hell yeah, man. Let's go. Attacking enemies with physical weakness restores the Trailblaze HP equal to 5% of the Trailblazer's attack. I will take it. Goddamn. Okay. Working on it. Working on it. Okay. Perfect. What else can I do? Um, that's not what I want to do. Let's go in here. I need to check Interstellar Guide. And this thing right here was what? Right here. Purchase one item at the Hertarium. I don't think I can do this though. Yeah, I gotta go here, man. I don't want to break anything by going here, but if I navigate, I don't know what this means. Not currently in the area, would you like to teleport to a nearby space anchor and track the objective from there? I sort of don't want to screw anything up, man. I guess it doesn't matter because it tracks things anyway. So even if I... Once I push all of these along anyways, like I clear this one, the next one will have already a bunch of stuff cleared too, right? So... Okay, okay, okay. I thought, <laughs> not a character. I was like, if that's for a character, <laughs> I'm willing to break the game right now. <laughs> no, okay. So, I'm good here. Oh my gosh, sorry folks. Okay, then we have, I, I'm all over the place today, but I, I'll cut this into some reasonable episode. Um, and then we'll do the story. I knew this was going to happen. It's getting real late. My throat's getting dry. But uh, I'm going to go to warp. And I'm going to see if I can pull off. I know. I know. I guess I got four of them. <laughs> I mean, why not? Is what I'm saying. Right? We keep this nice and contained. I'm going to pass on these ones. I'm going to wait for tomorrow's character. And um, I'll roll there. But for this one, I think I can pull it off. I need six of them. So let's go to the exchange. Um, can't get them from here. So stellar trade. And then I get the stellar pass here. I could do it like easily. Easily, folks. I'm gonna do it. There, spent the money, it's done. We're gonna do another, po another pull just for a reward for coming back. Let's go. <laughs> let's try to get another character. Ooh, that story is gonna, we'll eventually get to the story, folks. I feel like I already got a bunch of stories just by talking to these characters again, some of this lore, like from Himiko and, and Wade. It's like, it was kind of cool, man, to get that context from them. Okay, Planetary Rendezvous, another four light cone. That's cool, even though I spent a bunch. 
leveling some of these up, but <laughs> whatever's, whatever's. Meshing cogs. Another one. Birth of the self, four star. Damn, man. Arrows. Find fruit. Come on, baby. Give me another one. Pass key. Come on. Bring it home. Let's go, adversarial. Oh, damn it. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. We got two four stars in there, man. That's pretty good. <sighs> go for another 10. No, can I? I can buy another 10. There's no reason I can't. Oh, my throat is killing me. I'm going to do it, folks. Why? I don't know. Because I feel like it. I don't know what else I can buy these. Uh, what else I can waste these on. I really don't care. Right now. Let's, let's go. <laughs> Give me something, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One more character for the night. Oh, this is such a long day. This is such a long day of uh, Hoyoverse gaming. Holy shit. It's like 12 to 14 hours. Yeah, <laughs> Yukong. I guess we're going to be learning about Yukong, folks. <laughs> Four star. <laughs> My throat. Oh, so good. Shattered Homes. I'm, I've got so many options, man. I don't even know what to do, but I guess that's the whole why I want to avoid this. But at the same time, I was like, why? You just got to go for it, man. Oh, what a head rush. Okay, let's go to the characters. <laughs> Let's check out our new character. Where you at? Let's go. Okay. I mean, I, okay. I mean, first things first. We just, we're going to have to do this because we get to burn these away. Okay. And then boom. Okay. Perfect. And then, wait, I always do this before checking. Ooh. Okay. We got, new, we got applies buffs to allies to improve the team's combat capa capacities. Okay, so a new, new scenario here with Harmony Path. Imaginary. <sighs> it's been so long. Ooh. Trigger weakness break will deal imaginary damage and apply the imprison uh, imprisonment effect, delaying the enemy's actions, reducing speed. So slow. So I have a character that does slow, and that slow is a different power i got shock in here wind shear i think it might be i think i finally found slow reducing it's, its speed so that's, a, that's not i mean how else would it be slowed it has to be that has to be a slowed effect right <laughs> reducing speed would be slowed but why isn't it lit up like slowed like burn bleed you know what i'm saying it's imprisonment so imprisonment let's click on imprisonment that doesn't do anything maybe imprisonment means slow <sighs> Well, it's we'll find out. So long. Oh my gosh, what's going on? What's that thing? A fox character, you say? Kitsune? Yay? <laughs> Are you out there? Yukong. I'm excited. Okay, Harmony, let's go. What do we got? We have... This is a big one. Four star. No one's got it. So, what are we looking at here? The following effects, okay, Harmony characters, after entering battle, if an ally deals the same damage type as the wear, ally as the wear, no, I do not, I don't, I don't think so. Damage dealt increases by 12, no, oh. okay, let's check, ooh, this one, at least I can level all this up. After the wear uses attacks to get hit, after the wear uses attacks or gets hit, additionally regenerates four energy, this effect cannot be repeated Repeatedly triggered in a single turn. Yeah, but that's okay. That's okay. And I can five it right now. Superimposition five. It's not bad. I like this one, but I don't have another character that would do this, right? Like, I'd have to be doing imaginary. I don't have that. All right. Well, then that's made my decision up made my decision for me so oops uh so we're gonna equip this one and then immediately level that up with the superimpose of all of them pow that's gotten out of our inventory and then we should be good here i won't level it up yet and let me see how she plays out and then we'll go from there so details let's go to information Head of the Skyfaring Commission on the Xianzhou Lufu. Yukong was a seasoned pilot and a deadshot. Since heading 
Up the commission, she's been buried under mountains of paperwork. The Xian Sao Lufu, Lufu, ahead of the Sky Faring Commission, is gentle yet seasoned and authoritative. Having been a pilot since young, she had become the commission's head with her outstanding combat achievements, yet she no longer flies due to a particularly brutal battle. Now her shot her now her shine and already dimmed. Now her shine? And already dimmed as she shifted her her shine, I guess her shine, her glow. <laughs> Personal glow. I don't know. Now her shine and already dimmed as no, there's a typo in here. My brain can't wrap around the sentence. Now her, I'm just gonna read it the way it is. Now her shine and already dimmed as she shifted her focus to official duties. But she is always seen guiding the course of the Luofu. Luofu. All right, let's see how she sounds. Let's go to voice. Hello, guest from the Astral Express. I am Yu Kong from the Lawfu Skyfaring Commission. Welcome to the Xianzhou. Xianzhou. Okay, Hello, guest from again. the Astral Express. I am Yu Kong from the Lawfu Skyfaring Commission. Lawfu. Welcome Lawfu. to the Xianzhou. I'm not going to remember that. I hope I do, but <laughs> it's a good thing to set sail, isn't it? I can go back in here to check the pronunciation. The sea of stars is vast, and our journeys are difficult and long. Please look after like, yourself, no matter where you are. I imagine like um, like a space boat kind of thing, like in Star Jammers. I have worked DD. in every post in the Skyfaring Commission, from maintenance Skyfaring? to pilot, mm -hmm. combat of trains? to stargazer. Cool. Such a long time has gone they by so like quickly. Boats? Not real boats, but you know what I'm saying. Like, conceptually, <sighs> just like this train is flight more like can a rocket. Considered as I such guess. I don't know. When it's it a train. starts with a successful takeoff and ends with a good landing. Uh -huh. The past uh -huh. and present of the Skyfaring Commission do not have such a simple relationship. The events of the past crafted its current greatness. <laughs> I like to watch the clouds. I mean, the changing nebulas. The Skyfaring Commission governs the area around the Sienjo, but we are merely momentary traces that quickly disappear in the sky. The nebulas are the true masters of the heavens. Mm. Compared to the skies and the stars, our lives are as brief as fleeting insects. <sighs> How I wish I can witness the day that the Xianzhou truly returns in triumph. Xianzhou. I'm not the Sky say that Faring much. Commission went like toe to toe that. 12 Shenzhou. times against the plague's author in the past. Three times we were nearly wiped out, but each time Ooh. we rose up from the ashes and rebuilt. Okay. I have seen the last ray of light right before a sun dies, and the pulsing volcanic veins akin to flesh and blood. On planets brought to life. I've seen the Lux arrow of the Rainbow Arbiter flying to places light years away, and the Rainbow Memory Bubble of the Glow Swaver Whoa. bursting within flames. Where have you been? The General may behave slovenly, but he has plans for all the affairs of the Sien. I don't know the context of any of this yet, but okay. The sword will vibrate it's a huge and then be unsheathed if it is unused for too long. Ooh. Once unsheathed, it will either paint the battlefield in blood or break itself in the process. Nice. The Sienjo need brawny warriors with their swords and spears, as well as unpredictable waters like her who travels freely and unrestrained. Mm. She is indeed reckless, but she is also passionate and eager. <laughs> Don't underestimate her. Youth can accomplish a lot Ship? simply by relying on such energy. Though Bailu has been worshipped as the oh, High Elder Susan. since birth, and had no say in this, I don't know who these are. Her title of Healer Lady was indeed gained from her Bailu. expert practice of okay, medicine. Okay, these are all characters tied to this lore. I'm gonna have to come back in here when I have more context, because otherwise, you should not mention this name. <laughs> I have no idea. It has been a forbidden Jingliu. word for Liu. a long time. Hmm. Though Bailu, Bailu has the Sienjo need brawny warriors Jingliu. with their swords and spears. As well as unpredictable waters like her who travels freely and unrestrained. All right, well, we'll have to learn. We'll have to meet him. As easy as that. Brave the wind. A pilot spirit Confident. never dies. Stay the course. The time is now. I love it. It's, it's so ship delay. based. It's like boat based, you know? Stay the course. There's all turns. It. But it's like Gale a sky force. folk, you know? To the clouds. Gale force. I can take Got some it. wind going. <sighs> Watch yourselves. Air. 
The wind is rising. Yeah, I Cloud like kites formation. I think of airships, man. From the boo. Oh, when is the airship so bad now? Shame of it. There will be more to come. It'd be such a cool concept. Airships going, and then there's like trains in space, but there's also airships that could maybe connect the space. I don't know, man. Comrade. This game can do whatever it wants at this point. Speed, not haste. I'm glad we're all out. It's the imaginary. They can literally use like that meta, the, the imaginary. It's like a whole other force. Like a, it's like alt quantum, you know? It's, it's so cool, man, that you can leverage something like that and then just build whatever meta sci-fi you need. Hardly a concern. Never let your guard down in front of your enemy. <sighs> Another busy day ahead of us. So she's a worker. I mean, I'd, I'd have to learn more about her past because it's it's making it hard for me to contextualize. But it's, I love imaginary. I love the idea of it, even in Hong Kong Impact Third, quantum and imaginary. Yes, I love the idea of them as power set things. So, I I I have too many options. Maybe yes, maybe yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's the way we roll. I can uh, flip through them, experiment, and then we'll see which one uh, feels right. But um, I'm not gonna be able to do that without trying them. So, another character done. Uh, it's going to be a while before I can pull again. I've wasted all my resources, and that's a good thing. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Map. How do I get down back into the administrative di district? No, no, no. Into the outlying plains. There we go. So, I go back into the actual... <laughs> go back to play in the game. Well, I guess I'm teleporting <laughs> back into here, and um, let's take some on a test drive, I suppose. If they spawn back these enemies here. Okay, that, that was a little louder this time. God damn it. No, come back here. No, don't go that way. There's no enemies over there. Come back! Do I have to see that before? Hmm, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> so much fun. So random. Because the Smashables aren't, aren't here anymore. I'll switch to him. Where are the enemies at? That's the thing. I, I don't think they'll be... Oh! He runs back towards where the enemies do exist, though. Because there are enemies back here. Right over... Teleport to this thing. Just like the enemies roaming this lane right here. Which... There he is, right here. Um, this will strengthen our position. Let's get this back. Done. Well, let's get in here. See if this thing pops up. Too late to repent. And let's just wrap Small this one up. Fry. Here we go. Now, physical damage, single target, psychic so power up. Bam. Shit. Wrecked. Okay. And then for you, I'll single target. Um, actually, it doesn't really matter. The one on the end. Done. The punches decide. Um, obviously physical, single target, and power blast. Bam. Got a breaker in there. Uh, you can single target. I'm not afraid of you. Here we go. <laughs> Boom, bitch. Oh man, that was almost a good solid hit there. See, the AI would just use this. Why? Why would you use that right now? Just end this thing. There we go. Battle over. Oh, we didn't get the thing in Jake. That's too bad. Don't guarantee future ones. So unfortunately, uh, there's that thing. But no, I won't be in there. Will it? Is there another? One? That's what we started though. Yeah. So I don't know what makes that thing appear. Will it appear in this thing? I guess we go in here. We got enough for one shot. In here for 60. Oh, it shows. Oh, I can call support from someone else. No, no, no. No, we're good. Start challenge. Alright, let's do a trial run here. See if the other thing pops up. It probably won't, though, but. Uh, you're dead. Small fry. The truth of life and death. And in you're an dead. The sanctuary is but a vision. Right. And Ruined. you're dead. You're made to be broken. Blast and <laughs> goodbye. 
that was it. All so close to being a done deal. That's all we could do. So we didn't get the treasure thing with Jake. That's okay. Wait, it cost 10? Oh. My bad, I can do this six times. My bad, let's do that again. Here we go. Kablamo, Kablamo. AI would have taken longer. Fighting I did better. I think I did better. Here, single attack and Kablamo. I take longer to make the decision. Yes, <laughs> that's fact. But I will kill them faster. This is our chance. And then you will go blast and fall. I need to be brave. And of course, you're. Oh wait, we gotta work this all up again. Where's the Hold applause? On um, I'm gonna have to do it on you. Let's see some the sparks. Set. Yes. Boom. <laughs> There's six. It's a little epic. Uh, but there you go. You just get finished here. Bam! Don't hit me. No interest. Don't hit me, fool. Bam! Okay. Next. See, still health. Full health. The AI would be damaged right now. I'm telling you. Let's see. Oops. Picked the wrong target there, so the yeah, AI wouldn't have made that mistake though. The truth of life and death revealed in this right here. It's but and then Q and wreck this guy. This Get is the our points chance. back. Oh, could have been a good shot there, but that's fine. Target threat index lowered. And then area attack here. <laughs> Jeez, crazy. Oh, wow, done. And then see her for point back. There we go. We at? We're still good. Yeah, she's still good. So command space. Ooh, this is damage reduction. He's gonna armor up the folks. Um, yeah, I'll go for a single shot here to get some of our points back, of course. Um, this is our chance. Uh, blast. Oops, could have should have gone to the end there, but that's okay. AoE. Bam. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. Here, let's end this one right here. Yeah. Made to be broken. Yeah. 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 I will actually blast for two shot or Single target on you. Because it I got one point to waste on this. Uh, let's not do that. Let's go. Let's get a point back here. And then for you, uh, I'll see the target. Don't get caught. Let's go. Go for the last one. And unfortunately, see the target for you. Can't maximize that. I want to protect everyone too. That's so cool. There we go. And then single target. How are we doing? No interest. Five out of six. The truth of life and death. Let's go with this. this is but a vision. Bam. Yeah, it feels flowy. We can switch out the characters and try something else, but give up. That's good. And then for yeah. here. This is our chance. And then for this, this. Target threat and index lowered. AOE Annihilate. done. Boom. Level cleared. Six out of six. Uh, next. Sure, that'll work. Give up. This will work. This is our chance. Um, right here. That's it. And then AoE. That takes the one on the left out. Ow. The blammo. Uh, single for you. That's it. That's a clean work. Clean job right there. We've got tons of vault and stuff which we don't need, but. Bam. We're good. It was good. Clean run. See, it takes me about a minute extra than the AI. Effectively. By thinking my way through. And so do I really gain anything out of doing it myself? I mean, it's fun. I get out of what I get out of it. I get that I am I still know what I'm doing. Still know what I'm doing. That's it. Just in case I can't do it. But I don't see the game not letting me do that. So. Uh, it's alright. I'll wait for it to respawn. I know it's there, it's just extra treasure. It's fine. She's running in her bare feet? Don't do that. I can't even see it. I can't allow it. Okay. Woo! We're back in town. That means next session. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna find somewhere to put my feet up. Yeah, I'm actually going to be uh, roaming around this town and talking to a bunch of people, getting some lore, 
um, along the way, but pushing the storyline uh, forward. We might get Jephard or Gephard um, as we go. <laughs> That's fine. Always, always, always training. Always training. Um, I like Kayla's being front man with this exploration. Nice. But I feel like there's going to be plenty to do. There's a little, a little trolley thing in there. Anyways, I feel like I saw a trailer where a town like this was destroyed. I'm, I'm not sure it's this one. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this one up. It was fun, of course. As always, I like I like this game quite a bit because the lore of it is just so much fun to dig into. The characters are pretty awesome. The fighting isn't overwhelming. It's just something that happens and then moves things forward. And I mean, that's fine for me. It just feels like a cool experience that... that yeah. It's a casual, the most casual game I think I've experienced, but it's so rich with lore. But thank you for watching, of course. I do appreciate your time, as always, and I will catch you in the next stack of episodes. Don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire, buddy. Peace. <laughs>